What's going on gamers? Today we're going to be going over how to install workshop content onto your Apex Unturned server. Before we hop into this tutorial, don't forget to give this video a like, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you can stay up to date on every tutorial we upload just like this one. Don't you wish you could live in Kuwait? How about fight zombies in the Rio de Janeiro? Unturned maps never change, meaning if you want more, you're going to have to head to the workshop and sort by most downloaded. Here you could pick a sick map for you and the players on your server to have like a ton of fun. Installing workshop maps and mods can be a little bit confusing, so we're going to show you how to get this done on your server easy. Now we're going to go over how to find the workshop content. You're going to go ahead and hop into Steam and click on Unturned Library and then find the workshop tab. Click into this and then just go ahead and find a mod you'd like to install. Then once you open up the mod page, go ahead and click and it should allow you to copy the URL or just copy and then paste that in a notepad and just make a note of the numbers after the browser ID section. Just that last string of numbers is going to be what you need to copy so we can paste it in later. Speaking of notes, don't forget that if the mod isn't updated for the current version of Unturned, installing an outdated mod could potentially crash your server or just make it generally perform not great. Now we're going to go ahead and find the automatic downloader to start that process. Go ahead and jump into your Apex server panel. And like always, before you make any changes to your server, go ahead and stop your server. And wait until it's fully offline. Then click on FTP file access on the left hand side of the page and log in with your info. Now go ahead and find your server's folder. Then click into it and then click into the globe symbol. It looks like a world, but it is a folder and when you click into it like one, you're going to find the workshop download config.json. To the right, there's going to be a download and an edit button. In the next step, we're going to show you how to configure it. The downloader is surprisingly easy to use. Once the file is open, go ahead and find the file underscore IDS section. This should be pretty high up on the list and in between the white brackets, go ahead and click into it and hit enter to create spaces for each new mod that you add in to this config. For example, each blank line you added, paste in each mod ID from earlier. Don't paste in the whole Steam page link, just paste in the numbers at the end of the link. Then place a comma at the end of each ID number except for the last one. Then hit save once complete and restart your server. If it doesn't prompt you to restart your server when you do click on save, just click on the name of your server at the top of the page and then restart your server. And once the server does start up, it should begin downloading each of the server mods. One common issue that may occur is your mods not installing once you go through this process. You should be checking the console during startup for errors. Sometimes mods can be outdated due to errors and previous unturned updates and can't be installed. If this occurs, we recommend either trying to re-download or find an alternative until updates are available. Steam Workshop is insanely useful. You can automatically install mods to the server and automatically install mods to your device. Well, darn heck. If you want to role play like you're in the wild, wild west, you can find all those mods here on the Steam Workshop. Or you could have a cute fox plushie. Look at how adorable this guy is. You could do so much with this. You can cop role play. You can do advanced combat. There's so much you can do with this, not enough time to talk about it. Well, folks, that's all we've got for you today. And as always, we hope you have lots of fun.
Thanks for watching. If you want to see more great content like this, then subscribe or click these videos. Until next time, gamers.